It was a great night. Pack a cooler, head to a drive-in movie. But this industry has struggled across America as theaters transition into this digital age. The transit drive-in is one of the last of its kind in western New York. And news for us, Callan Gray is in the newsroom now with more on the secret to success. Callan? Don Alina, the transit drive-in theater is one of just two in the Buffalo metro area. And this summer, they've seen a thousand cars on some Saturday nights, people turning out to see the big films like Minions and Jurassic World. But there have been some ups and downs. This neon sign has turned on outside transit drive-in since 1952, every year marking the start of summer. It's just a fun thing to do. It's, you're getting to be out in the air. It's, I don't know, there's such an appeal about it. Nostalgia is a big piece. Over the last decade, transit drive-in has faced a major challenge, switching over to digital projectors. It costs $75,000 per screen and has forced many theaters out of business. They do an introduction before they start the movies and it you know basically it's the history of how uh, drive-in theaters are kind of going away you know they're going out of business and that so to actually have one locally it's it's a good feeling it took the theater about seven years to finance the project now they have cars lining up to see the latest flicks but the united drive-in theater owners association says across america the number of drive-ins has dropped to just about 390 50 fewer than just 15 years ago people say the unique experience makes these theaters worth supporting they play like 80s movies you know retro movies <laughs> We had the, the Bills games here and all their proceeds. They didn't charge for the Bills games itself. That was free. But anything you bought at the snack bar, all those proceeds went to the Buffalo City Mission. The theater plans to do that again this year. And that's one of the things I love about Transit Drive-In is how they support the community. And I think that's, for me at least, that's what makes them such a huge draw. The United Drive-In Theater Owners Association says New York actually has the highest number of drive-ins nationwide at 29. Pennsylvania is a close second with 28 theaters. Reporting from the newsroom, Callan Gray, News 4.